Book three, Maurice on the Roost Track. I do not believe my eyes, said Maurice Minnie Minor, as he trooped past the motoration track one bright sunny morning. But when he had parked outside his house, he said to himself, Aching axles, I jolly well do believe my eyes. I did see ma'am so Mimi, and I did see Cheeky Beetle, and I think I did see Naples tearing along the racetrack just now. I dream some uh, interesting dreams sometimes, and I just can't have dreamed that. Whatever were they doing? Maurice didn't have long to wait for the answer. With a splutter and a growl, Naples pulled up, squealing his tires and flashing his huge sports car headlights. Are you ready? he shouted. Ready for what? asked Maurice, a little bewildered. Motor car exercise day, of course. Old Naples. Maurice was about to say that the gentle run he had to the paper shop every morning was the best exercise for him, but Naples carried on shouting. Every day, he yelled, at four o'clock, we are all going to race on the track as fast as we can to get fit. Mimi, Cheeky Beetle, and I think that we need more exercise to keep us on our tires. But, started Maurice, no buts interrupted Naples, see you at the racetrack at four o'clock. But, said Maurice, no buts, shouted Naples again as he zoomed off on the road. At four o'clock, Maurice truth to the racetrack. He had never been on it, and it looked very inviting indeed. It was wide and empty, and there were absolutely no potholes to hurt anyone's tires. Come on, Maurice, called Mimi and Cheeky Beetle, and the old truth onto the starting line. We'll see who is fittest, Mo, shouted Naples, but, protested Maurice, but, no buts, held Naples, who revved up his engine, making a terrible noise. I'm the starter, shouted Cheeky Beetle, ready, steady, stop. Naples skidded wrong with a squeal. What are you playing at, Cheeky? He said, it's steady, ready, go. Me Mimi laughed. <laughs> Can't you two get anything right? she asked. It was just a truck, said Cheeky Beetle. Ready, steady, go! Cheeky Beetle was the first to shoot forward. But that was because he was the starter. Then Naples and Mimi leapt after him, their wheels grew faster than they had ever gone before.
Maurice set off at a gentle pace. He sighed as he watched them tear off into the distance. Burns and roaring. Soon he began to enjoy driving on the racetrack. It was so lovely and smooth. Even the sun came out from behind the clouds and the birds sang in the sky. Then suddenly he gasped. There was Naples on the side of the track. A cheek of rust colored water running from his radiator. What happened? Maurice called. Oh, nothing, mumbled Naples. I just stopped to look at the view, actually. A little further on, Maurice gasped again. There was Cheeky Beetle on the side of the track. A whistle of air coming from one of his tires. What happened? Maurice called. Oh, nothing, muttered Cheeky Beetle. I just stopped to enjoy the sunshine, actually. And then, quite a lot further on, Maurice gasped again. There was Mimi on the side of the track. A small pool of warm oil spreading out on the ground underneath her. What happened? Maurice called. Who? Oh. Nothing. Said Mimi. I just stopped to listen to the birds in the sky, actually. Maurice trooped slowly back to the start, and one by one, they all went after him. Listen, he said, exercise and racing would make you fit. If you're not healthy in the first place, have you all been having the right grade of petrol? Have you been using the freshest oil? Have you all had your parts checked and greased lately? Have you topped up? Well, have you? But, cried Naples, I, but, cried Mimi, we, but, cried Cheeky Beetle, you, no but, said Maurice Antle, with a twinkle in his headlight. His friends looked rather sheepishly at him. Then Cheeky Beetle said firmly, he's right, you know. And the others agreed. Cheer up then, said Maurice. And while you look at the view and enjoy the sunshine and listen to the birds in the sky, I will sing a little song. Aching axles, what did I see? Mimi. On the racetrack, 
it just couldn't be. Is it a dream? No, I'm awake. Cheeky beetle racing fast. For goodness sake, my friends, you all have different shapes, but to me, you're all real stars. Be proud of what you each can do to pretend your racing cars the Mimi and Cheeky and Naples too. You were also with her. You could whiz wrong the race track as fast as the wind faster than ever before, but oh you weren't tuned up and fit from the start. And so you felt poorly and weak. And then one by one you came to stop with a cough and a splutter and a leak. So drive away, my dear their friends and sing a happy song and begin to race at a gentle pace when you knew you're fit and strong remember when you want to run you may be fast or slow and we'd like you back not stuck on the track Ready, steady, crew. I sing this song as I drive along Marie's Mini Minor. I get the soul cause I keep in tune Marie's Mini Minor. And when you see me passing by, just toot your horn and wink your eye. No need to wonder who am I, Marie's Mini Minor. End of book three.